Hi everybody, welcome to my vlog. Today I'll be sharing with you my daily routine with cats and dogs, but mostly with my cats. Cat, which is one of them. All right, well, and here it is. Well, sorry, not that you care. Every morning, I prepare first their breakfast by washing their bowls. Having a pet means that you have to invest in their food. That's why you have to choose for the best cat food for them. It can be for their fur, digestive system, hairball, urinary, etc. As for me, it's royal canine for Persian and origin. Just like humans, they also need their vitamins. O, di ba? Mas nauna pa silang kumain kaysa sa akin. And then, one of the most crucial things that I have to do is clean their litter box regularly. It's important because it's their toilet. It's like leaving an unflushed toilet when you didn't clean it. And they won't like it. Who would? However, I realized that I consume too much plastic. So, I decided to throw first the used litter sand in a bucket secured in one big plastic so that it won't smell, and then throw it when it's full. It is also essential to have a vacuum cleaner so that you can save time cleaning the floor. It gets messy with cats around. Now, here's some do's and don'ts that I listed. Um, these are based from my experience of having a cat since having my own cat since probably 2016. Yeah, 2016. So for the do's, do make them feel loved. They may be hard to love because they're not as expressive as dogs, as you can see, but they have their own ways of expressing themselves. So don't deprive them of it. Have a lot of patience. Cats can be so unpredictable. You can't always tell them what to do. They will knock at your door and knock at its side. Sometimes they're too slow to move. They'll smell whatever or even just stare at you. Open the door wide open and they'll always have second thoughts. I don't really know why this happens. Do give them privacy. I'm sneaking. Do spoil them with toys. Or as for me, I spoil them with catnip. Catnip is a minty herb that stimulates their hormones and triggers and causes cats to respond emotionally. Now this is the effect of catnip after. Dozing off. Have them neutered or spayed. Like this. Hello, we're now on the way to the vet and it's one of the most important things to do to your cat if you have a pet is to have them checked by the vet but today is no ordinary checkup because my Fergus has a surgery today for the cryptorchidism something um, I don't know if that's an illness or it's just it's um, I'm a sort of an abnormality with his testicles. Testicles. That's it. So that's why he's scheduled for the surgery today. Also, bring them to the vet for regular checkup, vaccines, deworming, and other treatments. This was him prepping for the surgery. I had to leave him for a couple of hours in the vet clinic. Now this was when we got back. 
His lower body was numb because of the anesthesia. Trust me guys, I caught him. As you can notice, he couldn't feel his legs. It wasn't easy for the both of us, me seeing him like this, but I knew it was part of the process so I just had to help him get through it. And we're officially back in the house. This has been a very stressful day for me and of course for Fergus who went into surgery. Um, he was also starving because he fasted for 12 hours before the surgery, then got into surgery for an hour and only woke up after another 6 hours. That's almost a total of one day of fasting. Well, she patiently waited for us and ayun, I tried to prepare a blanket for Fergus na ayun na hindi naman niya gagamitan. And thank you for waiting for us, Fluffy. For the don'ts, don't scream or shout at them, especially when they're stressed already. Cats are legit curious about life, so let them learn about it. Let them explore and just train them not to continue in their bad habits. Always, always choose to be gentle instead. Don't let them go thirsty or hungry. Don't let them out for a very long time. This will keep them out of danger. Also, if people say that black cats are malas because of superstitious beliefs, Fun fact, black cats are not and will never be bad luck. Black cats are glorious and they're not different from any other cats. So please, please, please don't treat them bad or don't just ignore them or don't say bad things about them because they will never be bad. And lastly, out of habit, I never leave the house without reminding them that I love them. Fluffy's love language is quality time. Wherever I am, most likely nandan din siya. Hindi siya mahilig sa touch, pero okay siya sa acts of service. As you can see, I massage my hair. Ko. See, he can last longer than Fluffy. Okay, okay. This one's fluffy! I'm not gonna hurt you! See? <laughs> Fergus doesn't have paternal instinct if it even exists in cats. There's this time that I tried to rescue a stray kitten and brought it home. Fluffy has maternal instinct. The moment she smelled the kitten, she literally took her from me then to a safer place, which was the basahan of the repairco. The next day, I prepared a proper bed for them, and there they relaxed. The story of this rescue kitten will be on my next vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I dedicate this first video, first vlog, of course, to none other than Fluffy and Fergus. 
and to their future kittens of their own. I hope that they'd, they'd be able to watch this. Well, actually, Fergus won't be able to have his own litter because I had him neutered. So, bye!